make a baby plasma cutter. Or the um, tools that we'll need for this are um, some alligator clips, uh, a piece of tin foil, which will be what we're going to cut, um, a piece of lead, um, 0.5, you just seems to work the best, and four uh, nine volt batteries. Um, so uh, in order to construct this, what we'll do is we'll put the tin foil, um, spread it across um, like what we have right here is a basket, and then uh, we'll use a rubber band to hold it down. Uh, we'll hook up the nine volt batteries um, to one end will go to the tin foil and the other end will go to the um, to the piece of lead. So the science behind this experiment is that you will have the positive lead on the piece of lead and the negative lead on the tin foil. And when you bring the piece of lead very close to the surface of the tin foil here, um, right as it touches, you'll get a very, so this is the piece of lead and this is the tin foil, you'll get a very small point of contact and that will allow the current to flow. And since it's a very small area, which the current is flowing through, it will get extremely hot and that will vaporize the carbon atoms within the piece of lead and um, it'll actually uh, turn them, it'll ionize them and vaporize them and that'll turn it into a, there'll be a small ball of plasma right at that connection and that will then vaporize the um, aluminum foil. And in this reaction, both the um, piece of lead and the aluminum foil will be consumed. So to construct this, you get your piece of tin foil and you want to set it over uh, like a basket or just some um, hollow surface. Close it down over the edges there. We can use this rubber band in order to hold it in place. So the tin foil is somewhat tight. And then what we want to do is hook up our 9 volt batteries in series and they'll just plug right into each other. Like this. So that one end is negative and one end is positive. We'll hook one of the ends up to the tin foil. The other lead will go to the lead, pencil lead. And there we have our baby plasma cutter.